Hallelujah. To him it's dignified all the all the praise. I'd like to greet the church, those who are watching us, and visit us with the peace of the Lord. And those who can stand up so we can read the, the word. We're going to open an act, chapter 8, starting on verse 27. Act, verse 8, verse 27. the Lord showed tonight when we were praying for this service when we were in this position to read the Bible, to read the word the Lord will send angels to be with each one of us tonight some of us had some difficulties to read and understand the word so this angel that was on beside us he would start to read with us and to make us to understand the word. And from that point, everyone understood the word of God. So we started to share what we understood to each other. The word said that we cannot, we cannot refrain from talking and to what we see. And that we can't. Okay. The text in Acts chapter 8, 27 says, So he arose and went. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, and Enoch, a great authority on the Candace, the queen of Ethiopians, who had charge of all the treasure, and had to come to Jerusalem to worship, and returning and sitting in his chariot he was reading Isaiah the prophet then the spirit said to Philip go near and overtake the chariot so Philip ran to him and he heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said do you understand what you're reading and he said how can I unless someone guide me and he asked Philip to come up and sit with him the place in the scripture which he has read was this. He was led as a ship to the slaughter, and the lamb before the share is silent. So he opened not his mouth, and his humiliation, his justice was taken away, and who will declare his generation, for his life is taken from the earth. So the Enoch answered Philip and said, I ask you, of whom does the prophet says this? Of himself or some of the man. Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning at the scripture, preached Jesus to him. Glory Jesus. Lord, your word was read. We ask you that is an operation here tonight with your word. So we don't have anything but your spirit which is alive and, and live with our lives, it's among us. Complete the blessing that you have prepared for us in the eternity, for each life that you brought here. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Please be seated. <coughs> we read, we read a, a little bit of a long thirst so we can understand the need. But the text speaks of a man that was it was not Israelite. He was not part of the promise. But the word said that he was coming back to the place of adoration, Jerusalem, where God separated for the people, for his people, his chosen people, so these people could adore his name. And, and that man for sure saw everything that everything that happened in that place the way that the servants that was was behaving the way that was this adoration the way that the name of the Lord was glorified 
And he probably didn't understand why did why that people glorify the name of the Lord that way. The people that at that moment in the act says after the death and resurrection of Jesus, the same people it starts to be persecuted. There's some death among these people because of that persecution. So that man, knowing all of that, didn't understand. Why they, they still adore him? Why they still adore this God is if he still go through these problems? So he was trying to understand why. Probably he was there, he left there joyful, but his soul was missing something. And coincidentally or not, and you know, well, we know it's not a coincidence because the things of the Lord are not coincidence. He was reading, he was reading Isaiah, where, where announcing, where he announces Jesus, and Philip was sent to be with him. But not only, but not 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 only to go, and and have a ride with the, in his country, that has a position in his country. But Philip was taken by the Holy Spirit so that himself could announce this man to who to who that people adore in Jerusalem. So brethren, many out there don't understand why the people of the God God's people are joyful. Each one of those problems sometimes people look at us but you are going to church you glorify the name of the Lord even though you're going through all these trials. But one thing that I learned in this, in this long walk, in this long way of serving the Lord, we don't serve the Lord for the things He does. For, with serving for the thing He is, we glorify Him because God is God. It's God when you're in a trial, and it's a God when you're in a victory. It's a God when you're sad, and it's a God when you're joyful. That's the God we serve. The world doesn't understand. For the world, this is a mystery. For us, it's a mystery that's revealed. We know. And Philip starts to explain then. Interesting that the passage that he reads in Isaiah 53 speaks, speaks of the moment where Jesus was crucified was going to be crucified, where, where Jesus on His glory, with all His power, He had the right and the power to not go through what He went through. But the Word says that the ship, a midship, He suffered everything quietly. This man, for, for more than He was happy, He was empty in His soul because He didn't know just Jesus. The more that he was happy or, or joyful to see that service in, in Jerusalem, he, he wouldn't understand for himself why. Why we are talking about a sheep that was on the slaughter, that was quiet, a sheep that was, was judged, a, a, a lamb that was sentenced. Sentenced. Brethren, the man by himself will not reach the salvation. But we have a Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit that was sent. And the word here says that when Philip heard, he ran. And he ran. These are fast actions. When you are in your need, brethren, and the Lord talks to the Holy Spirit, goes, go help him. And the Holy Spirit come and help us. He runs. The Holy Spirit runs because the Lord has a pleasure to bless us. If you don't have the understanding, came here tonight. Sometimes sometimes you read the word, the, 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 the songs are, are beautiful. You feel joyful, but you don't understand why and know why we adore this Lord that's that's alive, this lamb that suffered quietly. He didn't stop in the slaughter. His death, his death could not stop it. 
but Jesus is alive. But what Philip was telling this man, they announced a Jesus that did not stop on the cross, but was a Jesus that was death for the, de for the life of that man without deserving it. He was not as Israelit. He did not have the right. So, brethren, you that came here tonight, you did not have the right. I didn't have the right. Didn't have the right. We didn't have the right, and we won't have the right. But it's because of this love that we are here. Because one day, this Holy Spirit reached us, reached us, and revealed this Jesus, a live Jesus, and today we're here adoring Him. Our hearts are joyful because not only because of beautiful words or beautiful songs or because the text or because the words no we adore him because the holy spirit that revealed us to jesus fulfills our hearts with joy that's why we are here glorifying the name of jesus we're not going to understand word by word uh, the bible is a book but it's when we open it is that when the spirit reveals reveals the author the altar that died and re -res resurrected and it's on the right side of the Father. The Father is here to save us. <coughs> a sister mentioned this on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the service this morning. If you are the Son to free, free us, truly we are going to be free. Brethren, you that came here tonight, let the Lord operate in your life. If there's something missing in your life, if you're looking one way, if the, the Lord reveal another, another gift that a lady was here with the many glasses, many reading glasses, because she was trying to understand the, the Bible, but she couldn't. She would take, she would take one glass, she would take another glass, and put it on, and she wouldn't understand, and she will not understand. But the word says that, the, the gift says that tonight one man, one brethren would receive her at the door and would take from her all the glasses, all the reading glasses. You don't need anything, no interfer interference from the man. The Lord will interfere for you. And when he would take those glasses from the lady, he would, he would drop an eye drop with the, with the red collar and would give her a, a, a new Bible and would tell her the lady this red color is not only a drop it's the blood of Jesus if you plead for this blood you will understand and you will live you know it's not only understand that Jesus saves that Jesus cures that Jesus died that Jesus is love is to live is to live this experience <coughs> that Jesus is alive and and she was wonderful and she would 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 be amazed bible by itself it doesn't help but thank god glory jesus that we have a spirit that it's among us that's been blessing us and he reveals each day he reveals this jesus each day that's why we are joyful joyful that's why our heart beats that's why when the sister says Glorify Maranatha, Jesus comes, our hearts beat the same way. That's why when we sing all the glory, Alleluia, to the King of Kings, our hearts beat the same way. Because the same experience that one person experiences, we experience as well. The, as well. Because Jesus blesses each one of us in the same way. That's why there's a joy in our hearts. We're going to glorify the name of Jesus with this with this song you haven't understand the bible completely but you know the holy spirit is present and he wants to bless you hallelujah glory jesus
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Look what look look how interesting. One of the gifts said about a eye drop, red eye drop, and the blood the call of the blood of Jesus. And the song that we sung the sang talks about an unconditional love that made Jesus die on the cross. You will only understand that. You will understand what the blood of Jesus, what is the result of the death of his death on the cross for us. That's why for the for the world this is crazy. The gospel for the world is a crazy thing. But for those who serve the Lord, it's blessing. It's eternal life. It's joy. It's peace. It's it's security. The world will not understand that. But us, brethren, we have this blessing. You probably came here tonight. You probably haven't reached this blessing. No worries. To, tonight will be the night of change in your life. Tonight could be the day and the night that you can say, I know this love. I know what is this Jesus that died for me to live, that is alive beside me. The word will stand up, please. Let's have two words of glorification. We, we praise your name, O Lord, for this great love. For this great love. It, and if it, was for the, if it was the sacrifice on the cross, we wouldn't be here today. We thank you, Lord, because one day you look at us, and that's why we're here. You had the mercy in our, in our lives, and you reached us. You delivered us and gave us the condition to understand your word because your word, Lord, is life. The mind of Christ that revealed what is for us as a servant. We are failures. We are sinners but you love us you love us and we know that this word does not belong to us we don't belong to this word we praise the lord we, because we have reached we don't want to stay here we would like we want to see your glory We feel a lot of things. We bless your name for everything that you've done for the life of our family, for this work, for this genuine work. We praise you for this gift. In the name of Jesus, amen. Dear Lord, we praise your name. Because truly, Lord, you, you were present in this house, Lord. We praise the Lord because your Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit is among all of us, O oh Lord. Your Holy Spirit has shown the power for us to console us, Lord. We praise the Lord because our joy is to be here with you, Lord. There's nothing better in this world than to serve of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We praise the Lord for the promise that you that you made one day for our lives. That what a glorious days! All the all the tears, all the anguish, everything will be left behind, Lord. When we'll be with you forever. Praise praise the Lord now and forever. Amen. <coughs> Let's. The church can glorify the name. You can glorify the name for the blessing that you've reached. You reached when you came here. In the name of Jesus, you reached it. Hallelujah. Because this Jesus is, is dignified of all the honor, all the glory, all the power, all the all the songs. Hallelujah. Glory Jesus. 
Glory Jesus. Amen. Glory Jesus. <clears throat> Dear Lord, we glorify your name. We praise the Lord for this certainty of salvation. We praise the Lord because our name written in the book of life. And if you come back now, we, we are going to be in eternity with you. We praise you for this joy that, that's in our hearts. The word does not serve us anymore. And we want to be with you for always. We accept this service that you can continue to bless us tonight, a, a peaceful night, the joy of your presence. We ask you for this blessing, thankful for your love in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. If you wish to have a praise, assistance, we're here to help you. Remind you all that tomorrow at 1030, we have the, the Sunday Bible School. It's important for the children to be present. And tomorrow night, the service at 7.30 this week. We are starting the, the week of inv invitation for the work of Lord. We're going to have some events next month. The evangelization for the children. November, we'll have the, the trumpets of feast. Let's praise so everyone can can do the right invitation so we can announce what was the one day was pre presented to us okay to all the peace of lord